yo, 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 what it is. What it is and what it ain't. So this is just dry skin on my nose. My nose is peeling. I don't think it's a booger, okay? It's not a booger. See? Just dry skin. I don't really care if you think it's a booger anyway, because I don't let a booger stay on my nose. I don't care. <laughs> So, no, nah. but um, <sighs> Grand Risings, it is now nine in the morning where I'm at in reality. <sighs> so, today I want to touch on what do I want to touch on? I had an idea before I got my iPad to record this video, but now it seems to be a C today we are going to touch on I don't know exactly what we're going to touch on we're going to touch on the power in disidentifying with the ego with the body with the mind okay now a lot of us may have heard the term unity consciousness unity consciousness or or at least heard the term we're all one right so when people say we're all one literally if they know it whether they're aware or whether they're not aware what they're saying is every single thing in existence and in non-existence is one thing with the illusion of it being a bunch of different things So, I mean, it's simple. I mean, it's simple, but it's, it's, it's simple to say, and it's simple sometimes to understand. But what's not simple is completely understanding and, and completely, yeah, understanding and, 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 and feeling what that means. When, when we say we're all one, that means literally, everything is energetically one now these physical barriers we call bodies and different objects that are that we see feel hear and taste you know everything else that we deal with in our reality seems to be separate but it's all created with the same essence the same god allah whatever you want to call it it's you it's me it's all it's literally every everything there is no it's like a dream that's the way I like to say it it's like a dream so when you go to sleep and you're dreaming right when you go to sleep and you're dreaming everything in that dream essentially is a product of your mind so say you're dreaming that you're wherever you're at right now and you're listening to this video well, when you wake up, right, when you wake up from that dream, you don't go, oh, there was a, a building in my dream that wasn't me, or there was a, you know, like, basically what I'm trying to say is, everything in that dream is you. Everything in that dream is you. So, that means your mind made up the clothes you're wearing in that dream, your mind made up the, the, the setting, the surrounding you're in, the car you're in, that building you're in, the people around it. Your mind made up everything. So basically everything in that dream is essentially just you. Well, take that thought and apply it to this reality. You feel me? Because essentially everything in this life is a part of the one. It's, it's the same as when people say, oh, you're a reflection of me, or, or, or I'm your reflection, or you hear a lot of people in the conscious community saying that, oh, reflections, reflections, blah, blah, blah. What they're saying is, the source energy in me recognizes the source energy in you, you feel me? Like, in the sense of, in the sense of, uh, 
like me saying you're a reflection of me is not me saying you're a reflection of sunrise the person the six foot african-american 24 year old you're a reflection of that that's not what that's, that's not what i'm saying when i say you're a reflection of me i say the source in me that is me that is you recognizes through the physical barriers the physical illusion of separation that there's also the same source in you and then that ties yeah that's a, that was a great way to say it the source in me recognizes that you are source as well that I am you you know what I mean that is what pure reflection that's what I mean when I say you're a reflection of me not reflection of the ego self now we can tie that into what I'm about to go into saying next as in we need to stop identifying as the um oh what's going on um we need to stop identifying as the uh fucking body and mind I need to get my bag out of there too we need to stop identifying as the body and mind because that's not who we are. I'm not Sunrise, the artist, guru, hippie, trap healer, dopest person in the world. That's not me. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Thank you. One second, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Or am I, nor am I my mind. Yeah, nor am I my mind. You know what I mean? Nor am I what I think. Nor am I my thoughts. You know what I mean? You know who I am? I am the source energy that created anything and everything. And what's here, what's there, what's gone, what's coming. That's who I am. That's who you are. I'm not Zach Page. I'm not Loud Thrax. I'm not Sunrise. I'm not my mom. I'm not my dad. I'm not all these labels. I'm not a man, I'm not black, I'm not a human. I am source energy. That's what I am. Expressing itself this way as Zach. I am source energy expressing myself as sunrise. You feel me? It's about understanding who you really are. Because when you say I'm source energy, that means you operate different, right? But maybe if I identify as Zach Page, I operate different. Because Zach Page is in a whole bunch of different categories. You know, a whole bunch of different separate categories from everybody else. Source energy is everything. You feel me? Um, all the doors open. Uh, what time do... No problem. What time do we got to be gone? We don't actually have to be there until 1. It's until 1? It's 12 o'clock our time. Okay. Because we have so much time. Okay, yeah, we do. We got hella time. Yeah. All right. I had to be out of here by 11. 11? Okay, cool, Beans. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Identifying with the ego. Now, the ego plays its part because... The ego plays this part because it helps support the illusion. And a lot of people are asking, why do we want to support the illusion? It's the same reason we created the illusion, to have fun. It's the same reason you, 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 you fucking play Monopoly. It's the same reason you play Call of Duty, because it's fun. You know what I mean? It's the same reason we're doing this life thing. Now, the ego helps us identify, helps us in this illusion you feel me because our ego is our when you look up ego it's your sense of individuality your traits what makes you you your personal your personal you you know what i mean it's your ego you know what i mean it's your sun sign your identity how you identify yourself how do you identify yourself apart from everybody else that is the ego you feel me 
it helps create the separateness the illusion of separation and that's the whole point of this life is to come in here and overcome the illusion of separation and freaking step into the reality of unity you feel me step into the reality of unity and do you do you do you like this or you know as the almighty creator acknowledging itself inside of this vehicle that appears to be separate you know once we all start identifying as source and not these bodies and actually not even just identifying truly understanding that we are source that's when all this bickering will stop all the fighting all the race wars all the men versus women feminism all that stuff that stuff will stop because we'll recognize oh we're all the same like literally just expressing ourselves in a billion different ways so in conclusion I know I need a notepad you know we're gonna step it up in 2019 we're gonna have a notepad we're gonna have markers we gonna go exactly we gonna know exactly I mean, we ain't gonna go on tangents we might go on tangents you know what I mean but in conclusion we are all one identify as source energy and live your best life okay allow your reflections to be your reflections all right because it's just you expressing yourself in a bunch of different ways well <laughs> that's it uh, i'll holler at y'all a little later peace and love